Hi everyone, it's Miss Kylie. Happy Monday. Um, I wanted to start my first lesson with you guys on color matching and color identification. This is a big part of what we do most days in Toddler One, just because it's something fun and something that really helps the children start remembering um, certain words and trying to match them with the correct color of what they're trying to say. Um, so I set up a tray here with just very random but simple things that I found around my house. So from fruits, vegetables, little butterflies, some flowers, um, different types of flowers. And um, I just set them on a little towel on my tray here. And you can, anything that you think your toddler will be able to recognize like as what it is. Um, it doesn't necessarily, they don't need to know that it's a daffodil, but just, you know, a flower, an onion, a banana, things like that. Um, and then something else that I just kind of have laying around that I thought would be fun are these little paint chips, which I'm sure some of you have repainted a room and you have um, some paint chips laying around, but these are really helpful for um, object to picture or color uh, matching. So you could just present it really simple. You need kind of a bigger surface. So I'm using this metal desk here. Um, and it's helpful to start, especially with toddlers, with just like maybe even one or two colors at a time. So you could, with whatever colors that you have, um, you could just set out, so here's some pink and green. And you can just kind of set them out here. Um, and you can talk about how each color has different shades in it. So it could be a darker green, it could be a lighter pink. Um, and have them kind of pick whatever object they think would match on the color. So I think that I'm gonna start with the orange because we do that in our food work um, practical life all the time during class. So you could just have them pick it up and it's helpful too to just have them feel it, to look at it, to get acquainted with the object. And you can talk about how, you know, this is, this is an orange. Um, you can talk about, do you think that the orange matches the green? Hmm. Does orange match pink? Hmm. Let's see. Let's try a different object from our tray. Let's see. What about the broccoli? Hmm. And have them feel it and touch it. Obviously won't be eating these. I wonder if this would go here. Does this piece of broccoli look like it matches green? I think it does. Another fun thing that you can do to make this more challenging is have objects that match the different shades of this color. Right now I'm just going to keep it simple. Let's see what other objects we have. Hmm. Let's see. Piece of celery. We eat this a lot. Hmm. I wonder if this matches with a pink paint chip. I don't know. Let's see, does it match with green? 
I think it does. We could put this over on the light green. Now I'm going to look at the rest of my objects. Let's find something pink. Hmm. This pretty flower. Let's see, do I have any more? Ooh, I have a light pink flower. These can match my paint for my pink paint chips. Now let's try some different colors. And this is where you can just add in maybe one more. So I'm gonna add in a yellow. Let's see. I think I have a few objects on this tray that might be yellow or a shade of yellow. How about a banana? We do banana cutting a lot in our classroom. This banana you can see is sort of green and yellow, which kind of makes it tricky, but bananas are generally yellow when they're ripe. So we can set this over here on my yellow paint chip. And you can see at the top, it's more green, and in the middle, it's a little bit more yellow. Now let's find something that's really yellow. How about this daffodil? Hmm. This pretty daffodil. I think that this would match my yellow paint chip as well. So now I've started these three colors and you can have them put everything back and do the same thing again um, to work on recalling all of this information or just for fun, for practice, um, remembering all of those things. I'm gonna put all of these back on our tray here and I'm gonna start with Two more different colors. I'm gonna do an orange and a purple. So these are gonna be my next paint chips and I might add one more in there. You don't want to overload, you don't want to overload them with too much information on colors and if they, if they don't if they can't associate the right object with the right color, that's okay. You can just say, hmm, okay, let's try again. Okay, so back to my tray with my new set of colors. I have orange and purple. Um, I'm gonna put, I put all of the objects back on the tray to just start over. Um, and I think that I'm gonna pick up this beautiful onion, which to me has a lot of purple tones in it. So I'm going to set this next to my purple paint chip. Hmm, it does look a little bit more red, which is okay. It's just good for them to Kind of explore this and also exploring the object as it is. Hmm, something orange that I haven't picked up yet. This beautiful monarch butterfly has some orange tones in it. This is kind of like a lighter orange. So I'm gonna set this over on my 
yellow paint chip. And it also has some other colors in it, but we're just going to focus on the on the light orange. Hmm. I think I have another interesting object that's called an orange and it's also orange. I'm gonna set this on my darker orange paint chip. So you can see the two different types of orange I have on this paint chip. And the kind of reddish purple onion that's on my purple paint chip. Hmm, I have some more objects on my tray, so I think I'm going to add my last paint chip color that we want to focus on today, which is blue. Here is my blue paint chip with some beautiful dark blue and some lighter blue. Hmm, I'm going to look at some objects on my tray here and see which object I think might be match some blue. Hmm, this pretty hydrangea flower looks like it would go on my blue paint chip. So we have blue, purple, or violet. That's also, you can also call it violet. Orange. Okay, so I laid out all of my objects with all of my colors that I had today. So we're gonna go through them together. We have blue, purple or violet, orange, yellow, green, and pink. Now we can go through it this way. We can go backwards. We have pink, green, yellow, orange, purple or violet, blue. And if you lay them out this way, spaced out, it really helps them see um, the, the difference in each colors and how there's lots of objects with different tones of each color. Oh, there we go. And another way that you can do this um, would be to have some clothespins with a piece of the cutout paint chip and then glue it to the end of the clothespin um, and then have the clothespin um, in a basket and then you can clamp them to the correct color um, on the paint chip, which is fun. And I will upload a video of myself doing that as well. I just thought that this would be a fun way um, to just use some objects around your home, have them get familiar with the object and the color of it because this really helps with vocabulary, recognition, um, especially just because um, we use these things, a lot of these things every day or we see them in our lunch, um, outside, growing in the ground, flying, things like that. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, I'm gonna upload some different um, color matching worksheets and things to go along with this. So thank you guys, see you soon.